Chapter 3 Dizens of the Dark Had the Sectans just landed on Grathian 6, the Thixian population prob would have probably ignored him for several weeks and went about their normal lives in the deep underground cave city complex. However, having decided on a procedure for invading other planets, the Thixians first did an electromagnetic pulse, which had no effect on the underground complexes, followed by a sonic blast, which gave several technicians headaches. Even then, the Thix did not recognize the Satan's hot stale intent. Photon-dependent beings were always a little unhinged in their opinion. So when the first Satan shuttles landed, a delegation of Thix were was waiting to greet them and to inquire the purpose around behind the uh, unannounced visit, wearing special suits and goggles to protect them from the abundance of light. These individuals were immediately beheaded and eaten. The Thix, Thix responded by sealing their cities and sending out inquiries for an explanation of this extremely antisocial act. The responses did not give the reasons for the hostile acts, but they did give evidence as to how widespread the Sixth in aggression was. The Thix watched in confused horrors as video streams from the humans and Jasmines, modified for Thixton eyes, showed the mindless hungry, uh, hunger of Sigtons eating everything in their way. Reports from other Thix world confirmed the same behavior. The Thixian, bio ex the Thixian xenobiologists were ordered to meet and discuss the situation. Comparing early reports of the Sigdon behavior and physical appearance to the most recent, it was unanimously decided that the Sigdons were experiencing a biological change. One scientist suggested spraying them with oxytocin, but was quickly reminded that only animal mammals responded to that chemical. Well, that explains why the human and Jaspins are so willing to cooperate with each other on this matter, another one muttered. It won't last, said a third xenobiologist by the name of Marguez. There are other chemicals in their systems that will counteract it all sooner or later. Lactin, the head xenobiologist, gave an exasperated snort. We're not here to talk about the humans and Jaspins, he reminded him. We are here to talk about the Sigtons. At the moment, our military is dealing with them as if they are non-sentient beings. We need to find a way to save them from themselves. Why don't we just plunge them into darkness, Marguez asked. Are you suggesting that they are living the way they are because they aren't living a Thixian lifestyle? Lactin asked. No, 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 not at all, Mar said Marguez. But photon-dependent creatures often experience a slowdown in their biological processes when they don't get enough light. Maybe it would decrease their hunger and their aggression. A drop in temperature might do something similar, another scientist added. Sigtons are cold-blooded, after all. Unfortunately, if we plunge the surface of this planet into a dark coldness, we will be risking the established ecology on it, Lacton pointed out, just as surely as if we leave the Sigtons to continue their unchecked consuming. Maybe we can create a weapon that can localize the effect, causing minimum damage to the surroundings, someone else suggested. Lacton no nodded gravely. I will give our suggestions to the engineers. When the xenobiologists met the next day, Lacton gave them the bad news. The military leaders felt it was more effective to just kill the Sigtons and blow up their ships than to attempt to reverse the change in them. The leaders did thank them for suggesting it would be sa easier to attack the Sigtons at night. They don't believe we can make it happen, he summarized. Is there a way we could capture a Sigtin and see if it works, Marguez asked. It would be a very dangerous thing to do, Lacton said. But don't you think for the sake of science, morality, and civilization we should try? If you can come up with a safe way to capture a crazed Sigtin, then I'm all for it, Lacton said. But for now, I'm going to take a pain reliever and get rid of this headache. Try as he might, Marguez could not find a way to get past their own military much less how to capture a Sigdon. He did come up with another idea, though. Maybe they could hack into a Sigdon's ship's programming and change the climate re controls. The, with the, um, when the Sigdon military finally boarded the enemy ship in order, orbit, he examined the suspended animation pods and realized that the cold and darkness would not reverse the change in the Sigdon. 
It would only preserve them until they could strike again. Dejected, he sat in the bar, drinking like an ale. After the fourth mug, Lacton sat down next to him. You know, Marquez said, staring at his drink, you were right. I was thinking if they lived more like us, they would be more civilized. I just didn't want to admit it. I figured since I had a plausible reason why it might work, I knew the truth. But I was wrong. Don't be so hard on yourself, Lacton said. Just because you were off on the details doesn't mean your idea was a bad one. We just need to do more research first. Like go to one of their worlds and examine them? I was thinking more along the lines of stealing their own medical records. A bit unethical, don't you think? Marguez said, his voice clearing. We'll let the Jaspins get it, Lacton suggested. They consider thorough curiosity a virtue. Besides, they and humans have already agreed to share any intelligence they have on the Satans. Are humans just as bad? They're a close second. But then we have our own fair share of curiosity, too, Lacton said. All sentient beings do. Just remember to keep a sense of humor when they say we don't things like we don't want to keep you in the dark. Margaz laughed. Photon lovers. They're just as biased as we are. 